Okay, here we are with Lamberg, and it's been about four weeks, maybe even five weeks, that this uh, fungal, I suppose it was, attacked them, and it's pretty much gone. They've been groomed every single day. I mean, every day. This one's, uh, it's not crusty anymore. It's not making the crust, not oozing serum. I hope the fur comes back in. It just looks terrible. So I took the bedding out and that seems to help because the pigs are not lying in the bedding. They're still coming in the stable and sleeping like right here. But they're not in the horse's stalls lying in the bedding. So I think that helps. But one thing about not having bedding is that the horses start to get friction burns, which is also a problem. Yeah, these pigs have got to go, and I contacted the natural resource office that are the ones who are responsible. They said they would send someone this week. Ah, oh, Christ. You know, I stopped by there last week, too, on my way to immigration, and I offered to make a formal complaint. Oh, not necessary, not necessary, but... Yeah, this is, this is still crusting up a little bit. He might be rubbing something. He's definitely itching on something that's... and just getting it recontaminated. Oh my god. So, lesson learned. Do not let pigs take up residence on your property. So now every time I see them, I'm, I'm uh, throwing rocks at them. I'm trying to get them, discourage them, but they just keep coming back. They were born on this property, so they were born down there somewhere. So I suppose this is their home, but... There's Pony Boy in this pony cave. Nice and cool under there. So I let him stay out. It's, the sun's out, so the grass is making a lot of sugar right now, and he should not be eating it. But uh, he goes in this pony cave where it's nice and cool, and I put some soaked hay out for him to munch on. So he's good. We're going to have uh, exercise now. I get him wet, hose him down with water, get him thoroughly drenched, and then we go down to the shady part and have walk around for about 20 minutes. Lambert's got some kind of injury on one of his frogs, so I'm not making him exercise. But he was running around yesterday on his own. So. Hey baby, he's sleeping right now. Yeah, it looks terrible. back in it'll, it'll clear up of course the fur will be black and he's got a lot of brown fur that's just sun bleached so he's gonna look a little spotty yes. so uh. kittens kitty cats this is Kipling hi Kips Something else when I <clears throat> when I have to leave this property, it's just what am I going to do with these cats? It's been suggested that I just leave them. I suppose that's an option because there's a lot of hunting. There's a lot of lizards, a lot of birds. I would worry about water though in the dry season. Last dry season it rained a lot, but you know that comes and goes. Some years it didn't rain for four months, so there was no water around. Although I've read that cats get most of their water from from prey. Cats in the wild don't really need a lot of water. <sighs> what a mistake it was coming here. Okay.